Here at Scott Legal, we know the ins and outs of immigration. We are here to help you navigate the oftentimes complex road in achieving your immigration goals. We have new immigration videos every week. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell. You can also sign up for one of our webinars or get a free immigration guide by clicking the link below. In this video, we'll look at the purpose of Form I-190. Let's get started. The United States Citizenship and Immigration Service, or USCIS Form I-90, is the application used to either renew legal permanent resident status, also known as a green card, or to replace a green card. A green card is to be renewed every 10 years. What are the specific circumstances that will require filing of Form I-90? To renew a green card that expires every 10 years and request a replacement if your green card was lost, stolen, destroyed or mutilated. Replace green cards issued and mailed out by USCIS but never received. Request correction of incorrect data and information. Request the name change for a green card holder that had their name legally changed. Request for green card holders that take up residence in Mexico or Canada to change status to commuter status permitting residence in Mexico or Canada, as long as they are employed within the United States, to avoid abandonment of their status. Request for green card holders in commuter status who then move back into the United States, to change status to normal green card status without the commuter designation. Register status for children who have green card status who have reached 14 years of age. Replacement of an old edition of a green card. And Conditional green card holders can also use the form to also replace cards that were never received. As well as replacing cards that have been issued with incorrect data. Is there a fee? Depending on the basis the I-90 is filed, the fee can range from $455 to $540. Except for cases where USCIS made an error on the green card, or where a green card was returned to USCIS as undeliverable by the post office, most applications require payment of the filing fee and biometrics fee. In cases where the green card was issued but not delivered, the green card holder must provide a copy of the approval receipt or passport page showing the I-551 stamps indicating admission as a legal permanent resident. Children who turned 14 years of age, where the green card status does not expire until after turning 16 years of age, are only subject to paying the biometrics fee of $85. To learn more, take a look at our resources in the description box below. You can also sign up for a free visa guide, any of our upcoming webinars, and Facebook groups. You can also schedule a consultation for a date and time that is best for you. We are here to help. You can contact us by calling 212-223-2964 or by sending us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.